Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about ACTH test. Before beginning the video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the useful and valuable information with you. So now, what is ACTH test? ACTH test is a test that is used to measure the level of ACT hormone in our body. ACTH is a hormone that is made by pituitary glands of our body. These pituitary glands are present at the base of our brain. ACT hormone or ACTH controls the production of another hormone known as cortisol. This cortisol is produced by another gland known as adrenal glands. Adrenal glands are present at top of your kidneys. Cortisol plays a very important role in helping us. It helps us in responding to stress, responding to infection, maintaining blood pressure, and regulating blood sugar. Too much or too little cortisol can create a problem in our bodies. So now, what is this test used for? ACTH test is done along with the cortisol test. It is used to diagnose the disorders of pituitary glands and adrenal glands. These may include Cushing syndromes and Addison's disease. Now, why you may need an ACTH test? You may need an ACTH test if you show some symptoms of too little or too high cortisol. Symptoms of too much or too little cortisol includes excess loss of weight, pigmentation on the face, acne, building of fat on the shoulders, muscle weakness, increased body hair, muscle weakness and skin bruises that take long time to heal. What happens during an ACTH test? During an ACTH test, a blood sample is drawn from the vein present in your arm. And this test is very quick. It takes less than five minutes. Now, how do you prepare yourself for this test? For this test, you may need to fast, which means you should limit your eating or drinking before the test. This test is usually done in the morning because during the day, the cortisol level changes. Basically, you would need to fast overnight. Now, are there any risks to the test? As I told you, this test is very simple and very quick. There is no risk. You might have little bruising at the side of needle, which will go away very quickly. Now, coming to the results. What do the results mean? The results of ACTH test are often compared with the results of cortisol tests. If you have high ACTH and high cortisol, it means you might be having Cushing syndrome. If you have low ACTH and high cortisol level, it may mean that there is a tumor in the adrenal gland. If you have high ACTH and low cortisol, it may mean that you have Addison's disease. And if you have low ACTH and low cortisol level, it means your pituitary glands are not working in good manner and there is insufficiency of the hormones. Now, is there anything else which you need to know about ACTH test? Sometimes, ACTH test is done along with ACTH stimulation test. There is a very slight difference in both the tests. In the stimulation test, we compare the value of cortisol before injecting ACTH and after injecting ACTH. Once the test is done, it takes usually one or two days to get the reports. The doctor will look into your reports and will interpret. If the doctor diagnoses any disease, he might talk to you to develop a treatment plan that works best for you. A quick reminder, doing a test via a reputed and reliable lab is necessary. You will find a link to a reputed and reliable lab in the description for doing the test. That's all for today's video. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to comment in the box below. Stay safe and stay healthy.